Liam, I know you'll be disappointed with the result, but you've got to be so proud of the performance tonight. No, to a man, to be fair, coming up against the Premier League outfit who are going well as well, and to uh, you know really, really sit in our, our stalls kind of thing and wait and be patient, disciplined in shape and you know look to, to, to do them on the counter even when we got the ball, move it well and uh, yeah we're really disappointed because it's a, it's a short set piece and it's second phase and you know you're thinking you're coming to a Premier League side they'll open you up and you know cause you all sorts of problems and I'm not too sure how many shots, I know they had shots on uh, from long range but I'm not too sure how many shots Ben yeah. it's had to save they had two on target you had one uh, so there you go it's uh, and fine margins we've just spoke about in there and you know if a National League outfit can go up against the Premier League and look at fine margins and it's all credit to uh, the staff that set us up in the right way and the boys that have carried out the, the job on the pitch and you know it was a pleasure to play with and mm. you know it might sound funny me saying this but the game felt rather easy in terms of um, the defensive side of things because the boys in front were, were working so hard and you know winning the ball back or stopping their attacks and you know we enjoyed a, quite a little bit of the ball that you know we said that when we worked on it in training that we would do so overall you know really really happy but like you say to, to go one goal down and it'd be like the header and it's a little bit frustrating but uh, the lads have got a lot to, to take forward from, from this and uh, you know we can we can look back on this over the next couple of uh, weeks and months and, and you know really show because it's probably one of the things we've been asked of is conceding you know sloppy goals and, and things like that and um, sometimes you can't pinpoint it down to certain certain things but you know today that just shows we've kept a, a Premier League outfit you know at bay and you know got done by the goal which is disappointing but uh, you know, overall uh, yeah, you've got to be happy. And people will talk about you know the the Calantonios of this world Yarmolenko, Lanzini, Ben Rama kept them so quiet and, and and grew into the game and I think you seem to grow in confidence as the game went on, is that fair? Yeah, no, definitely. I think second half especially. Yeah. Um, I think they were probably surprised a little bit about the amount that we tried to play out from the back and you know look for the for the spare player and the overload and um, I think as you've probably seen it towards the end they were sending runners from, from everywhere and probably getting a little bit nervous that the game was you know going towards the extra time. And that's probably disappointing as well that it was so late when it came. But um, that's all credit to Jim and, and Dave and the way that the staff set us up. We've got a philosophy and a way of playing and you've probably seen that over the Wrexham game um, and the Ulti game where we've moved the ball around really well, albeit we haven't done it for the full game and you know that's the, the work that we're doing but you know you can see it progressing definitely and, and um, I think that's probably stood us in good stead tonight where we've been relaxed on the ball and looked to move it and, and just sort of said you know that could have been an East Lee out there tonight, it could have been a Wrexham out there tonight, it was just you know our 11 and the subs and, and you know their 11 and the subs so we really uh, obviously wanted to play the occasion but knew that you know if we, we trusted ourselves and stayed in the shapes and and the patterns that we worked on that you know we, 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 we would cause them problems and we did. And it'd be frustrating if people say oh the pitch is 11 then because it actually didn't help County at all tonight. You pitched Do you know what and you've probably seen it over the last few performances where you know Kitch is opening his legs and then you bring Macker on who's got great pace and they're looking for the one-twos in the wide areas to get balls in. I mean, I went to put a cross in, and the ball just literally, yeah. you know, stops dead. And wouldn't use that obviously as an excuse, but the conditions really did deteriorate. And um, obviously, some of the football was still on there to show, even in the conditions. So um, it's credit to us from simple things like taking the throw-ins and not just sort of putting it into areas and hoping for the best. And you know, we try to control parts of the game and uh, really try and move West Ham around. And, Obviously, we had some great praise coming off the field from, from David Moyes, and you know we really made it difficult for him and his side. So, massive credit, massive credit to the national league level. Um, and like you say, we can move forward from this now. I know it's a defeat, but there's there's plenty of confidence still within the group from that that we've just took, you know, the elite of of England, you know, right to the very end of the game. So well, Jamie Vermigley was here tonight, Charlie Manning. He was saying he feels. You know the cup run actually feeds into your league form and can actually benefit it. They've seen some evidence of that. Now, do you feel that'll be the same for County? That yeah, because I think it was. Confidence? I think it was a little bit of a, not a wimp, but the way that we sort of bowed out to Chesterfield on the penalties. When we got given the second chance, it was it was sort of like that. We're, we're grasping that, you know, and the, the, that performance really showed, you know, what this group are capable of doing when we're when we're all on it and. Uh, we want more of that to come. It's only an early start to the season still. We're only 14 games in. So um, to be able to sort of express ourselves against tough opposition in Chesterfield and Yeovil and, and then obviously you go to a League One outfit and you know put them on the back foot and then defend really well and 
you saw signs again today that a uh, higher opposition we've, we've kept at bay with our defensive discipline and it's taking that now back into the league um, I think it might be more that we knew that West Ham were probably going to have a lot more ball whereas in our league we're probably favourites to, to move the ball around more and teams are probably sitting against us um, so we're going to look at that and use the fact that you know we need to be disciplined at the back and keep things because with, with some of the play that we, we can do we'll, we'll open up a lot of sides and especially in the Wrexham game we sort of blew them away in the, in the first part of the game so um, we're going to take like I said a lot, a lot of confidence from this um, and it's a great bunch of lads in there um, every single man the lads that didn't get on obviously are going to be disappointed but they played a massive part you know we've just come in there and they're all high-fiving us and, and all the rest of, you know they're really proud of us as well and that just shows the togetherness that we've got of you know the lads who are probably going to be really disappointed that they've missed out and it was obviously up to us the players and it would have been a fantastic occasion if the fans would have been allowed in obviously we've seen the fireworks which was a magnificent show for five ten minutes and um um, that would have been a really good game for the fans to, to, to come after a difficult time and hopefully we've, we've sort of made the town proud in, in terms of the performance and you know the lads shouldn't feel too hard done by even though uh, there's a few sort of faces that wish that you know we probably still could have took our chance because it was there for us. You certainly have made the town proud and, and of course you can still get to Wembley starting on Saturday. Absolutely, we've another cup run. Um, I mean, we're back on this pitch, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it holds up and uh, you know we've got some fantastic staff here, so I'm yeah. pretty sure they'll do a great job. I mean the conditions are awful, but uh, uh, another chance. Like I said, we're up against Notts County, so you know top end of the division. They'll be looking for promotion out of ours, and it's another chance to test ourselves. I'll probably test our squad as well, because there's some players that are going to have missed out, like you said today, that are going to be biting at the bit to, to come in and, and prove that you know they're pushing the lads that have actually got the starting shirt at the minute, and uh, that's that's the thing that's going to push the level of the group up. You know, you look over your shoulder. I mean, you know, for myself, there's, there's there's lads behind me that are, are wanting to come in, so can't drop my standards and although we've had uh, some excellent performances we haven't quite seen out enough games to look convincing and you know that's one thing I think will grow with the new players all mixed in with, with the lads that have been here for a couple of years because I think like I said it's a great group and uh, you know we've got plenty of time to, to do well and uh, I think Jim and ourselves you know we're going to every game wanting to win so that'll start again now Saturday and try and get on a bit of a momentum. I hope you get a good rest before then because you've deserved it. Well done. Cheers, thanks very much. Cheers, guys. Cheers, mate. Thank you.